quite this one. Volume of evaluation. Volume of evaluation. What is this volume of evaluation? Suppose I have area included between y equal to f of x, x axis, x equal to a, and x equal to b suppose. I have some area. Okay, I have some plane area included between the curves y equal to f of x, x axis, x equal to a, and x equal to b. If this area is revolved about x axis then it keeps a volume called as volume of evolution okay if this area is revolved about x axis for 360 degrees this area keeps a volume what would be the volume of evolution that is one question second would be what is surface of evolution What is surface of evolution? Surface of evolution means for this area, I have a surface here. Only for this surface, I'm talking. If this surface is revolved about x axis, this is another three dimensional surface, a third surface. What would be the surface area of evolution of that surface? Okay. In fact, the same uh, object when revolved about x axis, this is a volume. For that volume, I have a surface. What is the surface area of evolution? Two questions. Okay. One, when I talk about volume of evolution, what I'm going to do is I will try to consider a strip. At some x, which is dx equal. Okay? The height of this strip, since it is right, the height of this strip would obviously be y. I can treat this as a rectangular strip. The uh, uh, if this rectangular strip is revolved about x axis, means a circular disk of certain volume. What would be the volume of the circular disk? The volume of the circular disk will obviously be pi y square dx. Correct. Let this take a line. Only take this y height line. Y height line. Okay. Let that line be revolved about x axis for 360 degrees. Gives a circular area. What is the area of that? Pi y square. Pi is the radius. Pi y square. Like that, I have dx thickness. Uh, I have uh, uh, so how many such areas are there? Pi y squares are there. Dx pi y squares are there. Okay. So pi y square dx gives us the volume. It's a kind of a cylinder base, the cylinder of radius y and height equal to dx. So pi r square h. So pi y square dx. How many such circular disks are there? Infinite number of such disks running from x equal to a to x equal to b, which is an infinite summation, which is an integral, which gives us this entire volume of revolution. This is what is volume of integral extending from a to b, pi y square dx. Okay, now when I talk about surface area of evolution, what I'm going to do is I will take this small strip here. This is small dx length. Small dx length strip. Okay, that small strip when it is revolved about x axis for 360 degrees, it actually generates a, a surface. It's a surface is a kind of a ribbon kind of a surface. A ribbon kind of a surface. Okay, what is the surface area of that ribbon? That ribbon would be 2 pi 2 pi y dx 2 pi y dx Okay, take a D small s capital S there. Capital S and the surface area. D capital S means it is surface only. I am not talking about capital S. I am talking about small s here. Okay. So, length of the curve I am taking there, ds. That small, infinitesimal, very small length of the curve, ds, is revolved about x axis for 360 degrees, which gives us a ribbon kind of a surface. 
okay ribbon kind of a surface that surface area would be 2 pi y ds how many such it should be there infinite number of such convention at equal to a to equal to d what is ds first of all integral a to b 2 pi y you can if you try to convert this into parametric notation then i say ds by dt dt this should be ds by dt square root of 1 plus half awesome. dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square d. so obviously c running from c a to c running from c a t step one extending from a to b means c would be there for the parameter x equal to a so c a For the parameter x equal to b, c would be c b, so c a to c b. That would be right. That would be surface of a regular piece. Just some questions. In fact, these are very very simple questions, but you should know certain things here. Take this. Find the volume of the solid. Find the volume of the solid. Obtained by revolving. Obtained by revolving. One arc. Here yeah, see this. One arc of the cycloid. Of the cycloid. Equal to a into theta plus sine theta. Y equal to a into one plus cos theta. How does this cycloid look like? First of all, this is called cycloid. Hmm? Now, this is all about. Cycloid. How do you obtain cycloid? Suppose I have a line, straight line, or a road. Suppose assume there is a a tire here, a tire, tire is a circle. Okay. For this circle, we take this point, point C. Suppose. Okay. Let this cycle move along this line. Let this circle move along the line. What happens? This point also move. Okay, the trajectory of this point, the trajectory of this point would be like this. So again, goes like this. And again, goes like this, and keeps. That trajectory is called as cycloid. Okay, the trajectory is called cycloid. Okay. If take any point, whatever point you take on the circle, it always goes in this manner. Okay, all of them form only one cycloid. Okay, this is called a regular cycle, simple cycloid. The equation of such a cycloid is given by that. Okay, x equal to y into theta plus sine theta, y equal to y into one plus cos theta. Okay, this is theta equal to zero k. This is theta equal to pi. This is theta equal to minus pi. Okay, the height of this. Actually, is equal to two a. So this length obviously would be a pi. Okay, that length actually would be a pi. Is it okay? Got it now? Not me? No. This is one cycloid. There are different cycloid. You know, hypocycloid, hypercycloid, like that. Suppose I have one big a big wheel wheel kind of a thing, okay? On which suppose a small circle is just 
rotating about this okay then then the the trajectory of a point on that circle when it moves along this it will be something like this this is the bar okay sometimes it should be inside inside also you can have something like so one is hypothetical the other is hypothetical where do you find these scenarios uh, mechanical engineers you see ha huh? ah engineering drawing okay okay even in your watch also we have uh, big wheel small wheel another small another small another small so many things so why this is used actually why this kind of thing in area why we require this kind of physics la kavali vanna when you uh, when you learn this physics like a topic such a kind of motion translational motion rotational motion helical motion cycloidal motion you should know what they are anyway so we have taken only one arts of the cycloid actually there are four types of cycloid that are all the four is no so x equal to a into theta plus sine theta y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta x equal to a into theta minus sin theta y equal to a into 1 plus cos theta x equal to a into theta minus sin theta y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta there are four cycloid types okay this is one cycloid inner kind of a cycloid is This is that. This is that. Yes, the translation, translation of uh, A by D. That's it. Other two would be okay. So there are so many answers. It's not only one. It goes like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Of which I am taking only one arc. This is one arc that I have taken. This belongs to this. Four, four drawings, four curves equations match the following. Match the following. Integral matches. Okay. Now, why I am showing all these four side plots is only one reason. Question would be here. If you look at this one, if you look at this one, what is the volume of revolution of this cycloid? One arc of this cycloid about x axis, about x axis. Okay. So this is the area between y equal to f of x, x axis, x equal to a, and x equal to b. We want about x axis. This is volume of revolution. Okay. Same thing if I revolve this one. Y equal to f of x, x axis. x equal to a x equal to b now it would be this area you know now that area revolved about x axis gives us another kind of volume not this volume so don't think like all the cycloids when revolved about x axis gives the same volumes no they are not the same volume okay now this would be this one okay sometimes the question can be for this cycloid If this area, other one, if that area is revolved about the axis, what is the volume of revolution? Understand that? What would be the volume of revolution? Of course, it's easy aspect because I will first revolve about the axis this entire rectangular area minus this area when revolved gives us the volume of this one, volume of revolution. Understood? This is simple. Okay. So first, you should know like what is the question first of all. What is the curve that is given to you? How it is oriented in uh, uh, x y plane? If you know that, then things should be easy. For example, this this area revolved about y axis. Y axis. Getting that? Revolved about y axis. It gives us a separate another kind of volume of revolution like that. 
surface areas of evolution form different different surface areas of evolution will be obtained by different different cycloids with different different axes so it's not all of them together as one no they look like similar but they are not exactly the same when we want about the surface but the only things which are same is what is the area included what is the length of the curve the length of the curve or what is the area here that might be the same that might be the same for all of them but when it comes to volume of evolution or surface areas of evolution things should be different for each one of them with respect to different different axes of rotation are getting that so you should know what is what what is this what is this what is this and what so go home and try to match them one of them i have given you already this is what i have given you okay based on that thing go home and try to match the form understood out okay. now how to find volume of revolution for this one so volume of revolution for that one it be quite obviously v is equal to integral pi pi square y square is a square into 1 plus cos theta whole square into dx is a into 1 plus cos theta d theta and theta running from minus pi to pi or 0 to pi theta understood Theta running from zero to pi, two times. Understood or not? Okay. Whatever it comes out to be, you go home and try to solve that. If you want actually to use uh, beta gamma function, solve it. You can use not gamma function, beta function. You can use it here, but it's up to you because I have already given you one formula in beta function. The answer comes out to be pi pi. Square x cube, pi pi square x cube. Understood? I don't worry. These questions actually we are not getting these days. It doesn't mean that they are not part of your syllabus. They are definitely part of your syllabus. Okay. find the volume of the solid obtained by find the volume of the solid obtained by revolving the cardioid Revolving the cardioid, R equal to a into one plus cos theta about the initial line, about the initial line. Again, there are four cardioids. Anyone who recollects remembers cardioid? What is it? The matter of the cardioid. Okay, four cardioids are equal to a into one plus cos theta. R equal to a into one minus cos theta. R equal to a into one plus sin theta. R equal to a into one minus sin. Four cardioids. Here the dimension. This is C A A C for all of them. Again, match the following. Only match the following. Uh, why we require to know again is uh, it's not about areas or length of the curves. But you can also find length of the curves and areas also, not an issue at all. Uh, but when it goes to volumes of revolution or surface areas of revolution, about initial line, initial line means x axis, theta equal to zero. Okay, what you are going to get is something might be different for each one of them. Okay, so that's it. The answer comes out to be 
ओके एनी पॉइंट सी एक्स कॉमा वाई एक्चुअली इन टर्म्स ऑफ पोलर सिस्टम इज रिप्रेजेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर्क एंड थीटा ओके इट्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू आर कॉल्ड एज अ रेडियस वेक्टर एंड द एंगल वी कॉल इट एज थीटा वेक्टोरियल एंगल वेक्टोरियल ओके सो इट्स रिस्पेक्ट टू थीटा एंड आर दैट वी डिफाइन पोलर सिस्टम Arcing theta, vectorial angle, initial line is theta equal to zero. That means the question actually asks you to find what is its uh, uh, volume of revolution or surface area of revolution about exactly something which he mentioned. That's what it means when he mentioned about initial line. Take one last question here. Evaluate the surface area of the solid. Evaluate the surface area of solid. generated by generated by revolving the cycloid revolving the cycloid x equal to a into theta minus sin theta y equal to a into 1 minus cos theta about the line y equal to 0 about the line y equal to 0 Answer sixty four pi a square by 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 sixty four pi a